Now let's talk about venues, a social experience where people can come together from all over the world to enjoy events together. This year, people have attended concerts, NBA games, and stand-up performances. And now we're working on an improved version of venues. In fact, some of you may be watching today's keynote from the beta version already. There's a new lobby where you can socialize before, during, and after the show because we know one of the best parts of an event is chatting about the experience with others who were there. And we also have new content coming, including a brand partnership with Tidal. Beyond Horizon and venues, we want to make the experience across all of Oculus more social, so you can discover people to play with, experience new worlds together, and build communities as you explore. We've heard that people want easier ways to find each other in VR, to coordinate and jump into apps and experiences together. And of course, ways to easily find each other in those apps. So we're rolling out some new features in the coming months that'll make it even easier to play together. First, we're bringing Messenger to the Quest platform. With Messenger and Oculus, it's easier to coordinate with friends and play together in VR. When you're in VR, you can invite friends to join you through Messenger, and they can quickly jump into the same game or experience with you. And this also means you can chat with friends anywhere they have Messenger without taking off the headset. We're introducing new Oculus avatars so people can express their identity and their personality with billions of permutations of customizations. Your avatar will be uniquely you. We're rolling out a new avatar SDK so developers can also use this new avatar system, which will eventually replace the Oculus avatars we have today. These avatars will build on the visual style you see in Horizon and Venues Beta today. They're an early version of our new system. Here's a glimpse of what they'll look like. Oh, hey, it's me. We also want to make sure your avatar can represent you across all realities. So over time, we'll be working to let you use your avatar across the Facebook family of apps. And then I want to introduce a new experience called Challenges. It's all about you, the VR community, showing off your skills in your favorite games. Challenges allow you to create mini tournaments and challenge friends, your community, or the whole world. Whether it's a week-long competition to see who can achieve a global high score on that new Beat Saber song, or a daily motivator to get you and your friends to play synth riders. Now, groups of friends can play together and challenge each other, even when they're not in VR at the same time. And developers can create their own featured challenges, starting with Beat Saber, Pistol Whip, and synth riders. They'll have new challenges available weekly, so you can compete to be the best of the best. Challenges roll out on Quest today and will become available on Quest 2 when it launches later this year.